My name is Christopher Cloak. I was a corporal in the Canadian Armed Forces. I served with the Prince Patricia Canadian Light Infantry for 13 years, and I was a member of the Soldier On team from 2009 to 2017. I'm here today to give you an update on what I've been up to these last five years. Uh, I performed in numerous events, uh, including uh, the Invictus Games in 2017 in Toronto. Uh, Boiling Point in Windsor was a track and field meet. Uh, there was a, a sports competition in Germany that I went to with Soldier On. Uh, and then rugby tournaments all across Canada and the United States. No, I've said the same thing from the very beginning. Sports really gave me back my confidence that had been taken away from me after my injury. Um, it allowed me to uh, push through barriers that were set in my way that people didn't think that needed to be overcome or didn't think could be overcome and I was able to push by them by getting involved in sports, getting really healthy and rebuilding my confidence. I've taken a different approach on sports. Uh, rugby's really taken a toll on my body. So instead of playing now and being an active player, I've taken more of a coaching role. Uh, and instead of working with injured people, I'm working with my kids now. Um, once the kids grow up and move out, I'll be able to move back into coaching uh, adaptive sports. And that's something that I'd like to do is get back to coaching rugby. I know how much wheelchair rugby did for me, and I want to be able to help people the same way it helped me. And the only way to do that is to have teams and competitions. And teams need coaches, so I think that coaching is a good way for me to pass on that information that I've learned over the years and help someone else. Today, the thing that gives me the most peace of mind is my carpentry. I have done things in the last two years after working with wood for 30 years, it's taken that long where I actually am proud of the things I make. I spend as much time in my workshop as I can building things, creating things with my hands. Uh, and it just gives me time to quiet my mind and think things through. It help me create creative ways to resolve challenges that are in my life. Perseverance. Perseverance will get you through. Don't quit. Without doubt, you will fail. But if you don't quit and you keep trying, you will accomplish an amazing thing. Hope. Hope for your own improvements. Hope for scientific breakthroughs. And faith. Faith in your loved ones and the people around you will help you through it. Right now the family is doing pretty good actually, all things considered. I know uh, everyone's very upset about uh, the pandemic that the world's going through, but uh, we're making it through. We laugh, we play, it's a good time for family to engage with family and really build that relationship, those bonds that seem to be missing so it's uh, it's nice instead of running all over for uh, different activities and keeping busy for just keeping busy it's nice to just sit around and be in each other's company I know these are dark days that the, we're going through as a race of people throughout the globe it's not just here in Canada and I know it's hard fighting mental battles with not a lot of support around you. Dig deep and really fight for yourself right now. And that's 
a very hard battle, but you can do it. It is possible. We're going to come out of this better than we went in.